Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna cover that Armor King catch maneuver. All right, so in pro wrestling, this is based off of the Crippler Crossface. Cool, and then there is a modification of this called the Labal Lock. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna do the pro wrestling setup for the for the cross face, just so that you can see how it's performed uh, for wrestling, and then we're gonna do some real life versions of it, so that we can uh, crank the neck pretty damn hard. Nobody likes that, to be honest. So yeah. Enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna work it first from the collar elbow tire. Uh, with this maneuver, you can actually do it with any arm in any position, basically. That's what makes it so uh, great in pro wrestling because it just comes out of nowhere, all right? So from the collar elbow tire for the referee hold, okay, we're in this position, and very simple. I just flick that arm, I go around, I shrug it, and he takes a front bump. Oh, or a face bump rather. Okay, I lock my legs and then of course hand here and he sells it like he's in pain. Easy one, two, three. Ooh. That one was close. Tap! Ah! Look, look, look! This is wrestling! This! Cool. All right, so we're gonna do this from a more realistic aspect now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack the, the cross face uh, from the turtle guard, all right? So my main thing is if I'm here trying to take his back, all right, he's gonna do whatever he can to prevent me from doing this, okay? So first things first, I need to slide this leg through this gap here between his arms. All right, so the best way I can do that is to try and pull him and he stops me from moving him so he places his hand out. All right, so now there, I can slide my leg oh, in no. and hook that off. Okay, and I lock it in. Okay, because now he can't pull that arm out. And also I prevent him from rolling over because I've got the shoulder nice and locked, then it's gonna be very painful. So already, I can just bring this hand across here, bring my forearm across his chin, and I push back, all right? And I crank the neck. It's a, not a favorable place to be. I mean, it works, right? Oh, and if I wanna make it a bit worse, I could try and flatten him out a bit by shifting, and that will be an ongoing process, just shifting and shifting and shifting. And then, of course, the flatter he is, the more I can crank his neck. And you can see here, this forearm comes around. I twist his head facing the one, the other direction, not straight forward. When we were doing the pro wrestling variant now, straight forward, and I'm light. So he can sell it and make it look believable. If I really want to hurt him, slide across, turn his head, grab and I crank that neck. All right, yeah. cool. Injuring the cervical vertebrae, very dangerous stuff, but a lot of fun. As before, I'm gonna do this, we're gonna probably have a fight here, I need to get this knee in, and then of course, you know, shift this weight, I can shift that leg and pull across, and then start attacking immediately. But here, he can obviously lift me onto my back, so that's why. We need to flatten out where we can. Cool, so next up would be the label lock. Now the one difference between the label lock and the cross face is literally um, how you tie up the shoulder with your legs. So with this one, uh, it's more of a omoplata, gogo plata uh, type of position with the, with the legs and the shoulder. Okay. Cool, so uh, we're gonna set up this label lock. So we're gonna do it from the closed guard, 
All right, if he's gonna strike me, I wanna keep him as close as possible, of course. All right, otherwise, sport grappling, I can have him up top and not worry about strikes. Jeez, uh, Ibrahim is bad at jiu-jitsu, so don't worry about him. We're gonna be doing it from this very close, tight position, all right? Cool, so I place my one foot on the hip so I can get to my side. This arm locks him down, all right? And then I can grab the wrist and of course push, get the leg around. Okay. Hand on hip, let's just move to the side here. Okay. And of course I want to flatten him down. So I shift, I shift, and he is down, okay? Now, I keep my weight here in this arm, all right? I need to lock him in there, okay? Because now from, oh, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna go for the neck crank anyway, so we don't have to worry about uh, doing the submission onto the shoulder, hurting the shoulder, but we're gonna neck crank anyway. So, I need to lean a bit forward now, okay? Because I need to keep my weight on him and I need to reach for his chin, all right? Oh, no. And once again, Forearm drives across the chin, and I pull. I can tell you that was not very nice, that happened very quickly. All right, so we are twisting the neck and we're pulling it back. Cool. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. We hope that you learned something. Thanks to Ibrahim for helping me out. Yeah, good time, man. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and then of course, the comment section down below, fill them up please. If you have any suggestions for um, fighting game characters, especially pro wrestlers that we can cover, please uh, name them and then we will play some awesome games and then we can recreate those moves for you. Alright, thank you very much once again and have a good rest of your day.